So dystrophic epidermolysis bellosa is this very severe blistering disease. Uh, these children have a genetic defect in a protein that's called collagen 7. And collagen 7 basically is the, the link that binds the different layers of skin together. Without that link, um, the different layers of skin are, are uh, disconnected from each other and can very easily form blisters. These blisters then open up because they pop open and they're never really close anymore. So these patients develop very large open wounds over the entire body uh, that never really close. Typically these, uh, these wounds are there at birth and uh, only get worse from that point on. Um, these patients um, that suffer from dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa um, are then you know, being diagnosed at uh, uh, specialized uh, sites, uh, hospitals that um, th that, that treat patients with dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. And the only treatment today that can help these patients is palliative care. So antibiotics to avoid inflammation, uh, anti-infectives, um, then there's hydrogels to take care of the wounds and basically these patients take care of their wounds with hydrogel, uh, put bandage around most parts of their body and um, um, basically refresh that every uh, two or three days every week. So it's, um, uh, it's, a, it's a very severe disease with a very high treatment burden and with very little treatment option. There is about 70,000 patients that suffer from a form of, uh, of epidermolysis bullosa. Uh, the most severe form is dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. And then that is divided up into many genetic subsets of patients that uh, have this disease due to a, a, a different genetic background um, within that same gene. Um, we, are, we are developing QR313 that is targeting a specific subset of the patients that has a mutation in exon 73. And the goal with this therapy is to restore this protein, that collagen 7 protein that's missing, that restores the linking uh, called anchoring fibrils that bind the different layers of skin together. And with that, restore a normal skin and heal the wounds and hopefully restore uh, a normal skin strength as well. Um, we think that if this therapy works, that it will drastically increase the quality of life for patients and potentially uh, extend the life expectancy uh, significantly.